project is being built out of a simple redwood fence board that I purchased for $4.84. The ideal tools for this project are going to be a miter saw or handsaw, air nailer or finish nails, wood glue isn't necessary but ideal. You could use a sander or sandpaper. Again, this isn't necessary, but the overall finished look is going to look way better with a little bit of sanding. You're going to also need a tape measure and a few leftover screws. Now this is a cheap piece of lumber, so it's important to find the best part of the board to represent the front of the birdhouse, because obviously that's what everybody's going to see. Now this is the section that I think looks the best. I like the coloration change here. I like the directional pattern of the wood. So I'm going to use this as the front of the birdhouse, and I'm going to base all of my cuts off of this section. So here is our project's cut list, and as you can see, there's no difficult cuts here. There's no extreme angles, nothing like that. Um, I suggest taking a screenshot here or saving this video so that you have this cut list. Um, again, I selected the best looking section of the board to represent the front of the birdhouse and then based all of my cuts from there. All of these cuts represent the front, the back, the side, the bottom, the roof side, and the rooftop. Now, after making all of these cuts, I'm gonna go ahead and get the sander out and sand down all this wood. Uh, it's not necessary, but it is gonna make an overall better looking birdhouse at the end of the project. Okay, so now that we've made all of our cuts, we get to do the fun part, which is the design part. So you could you know, stain it, you could paint it, uh, you could let it patina, kind of like this fence over here. Uh, most of us have some leftover spray paints, some leftover house paints, um, some leftover stain. So kind of rummage through and see what you got. I am using some leftover spray paint that I have from another project. This is a Dory Blue from Bear. I'm also going to use some Thompson's clear water seal on the outside. So that's what I've got left over here at the house. Uh, but again, this is your project. So add some cool stencil to it. Um, you know, just, just, just get creative. Have fun with it. That's what it's all about. As expected, there's a little bit of an overhang here on this bottom piece. As I dry fit everything together, it's just easy to put the base in and then scribe a line flush with this back portion of the wood and then go back to the miter saw and just knock this three quarters of an inch off. Here in Northern California, we've been having some wet weather. We've had six straight days of rain, which is crazy for us. Uh, so it's nice to take a project outside and get a little bit of vitamin D. Uh, it took two coats of Thompson's water seal to fully coat the outside of the wood. And then it took three coats of spray paint to cover the roof. Next up, we need to add the access hole for the birds. And I'm going to use my trusty hole saw to make that hole. Uh, you could also use a jigsaw if you don't have a hole saw. Okay, so now we can begin assembling this birdhouse. And unfortunately, I didn't realize this until I started that the glue inside my wood glue container had all dried out. But it is a good idea to add some wood glue as you're putting the sucker together. I'm going to first nail the back to the side, and then I'm going to go ahead and add in the front piece. As you can see, I added the roof which will have an overhang in just the front. There will be no overhang in the back. And then that side portion of the roof is gonna tuck right under the top portion. We're gonna go ahead and air nail everything together. And when it comes to installing the bottom, uh, since we're gonna need to periodically clean this thing out, we're just gonna use some leftover screws to secure this in place. Well, as you can see last minute, I decided to add a perch to the front of the birdhouse, and I think overall it gives it a nice finished look. Um, it is the top of the fence board. I just went ahead and cut that off and nailed it in. Uh, but as you can see, you can put this at the top of a post. You can uh, screw it into a tree. You can add a hook to the top and hang it from a tree. Uh, now, birds are very important to our gardens. Now, whether they're eating the caterpillars that are you know, ravaging our lettuce and hosta beds, um, they eat the Japanese beetles that attack my prized roses. And as you know, beautiful hummingbirds do help pollinate our garden. And speaking of pollinators, I recently planted a large container specifically in my veggie garden for attracting pollinators. So if you want to watch that video, you can check that out right here. But thanks again for taking a stroll through the Glen, and I'll catch you in my next video.